cool about these is when you move to the truck boxes, and I'm gonna pull the other one out by here by itself so I can pull it off by itself, just off here on the side. As you can see, this is the passive radiator and this is the Comp RT woofer that's in the enclosure. And so the, here I'm gonna give you a side profile view. This is the passive radiator. Now this is the 12 inch passive radiator, so it's not the exact same one in this one. We offer these and make these in an eight, 10, and a 12. Um, the cool part and the reason we use passive radiators and where these kind of got their start was, you know, go back into the history of kicker in the legendary days, the original kicker box was using passive radiators. Ports and passive radiators do the same job. They both tune an enclosure at a specific frequency so that you can utilize the back wave of the woofer, the back pressure of the cone to give you more output. It's a little out of phase. That's the way ported and, and uh, PR, passive radiators work. But it's typically 180 degrees out of phase, but it, it accentuates and adds to the output of the driver. That's also why ported cabinets and passive radiator boxes, some people think that they're a, uh, they have a, a, a longer boom to them or a draw to them, or they're, some people use the word stronger, um, whereas maybe in a sealed box people use the word tighter. Uh, it's because you're getting that accentuated output that's a little behind phase-wise to the main output coming from the front of the driver. But it's how we're utilizing that back wave to drive a drone or a passive radiator or to drive a port to give you more output. Now, ports and, and passive radiators, they're the same goal, it's about tuning. But the thing is, in an enclosure this small, with this driver, if we were to try to tune this with a port, the port wouldn't fit the box. The port would be in the box and sticking out of the box and it would be huge. We, you can't fit a port at the tuning frequency you want in a design like this. And if you tried to get a port in here, so you start getting this port smaller and smaller and smaller, so as you shrink the size of the port, you get smaller on the port, whether it's uh, you know, a square port or a round port, what happens is your air velocity, the speed of the air going back and forth through the port increases. And we use 15 to 17 meters per second as kind of a standard. You don't want your air velocity to exceed that or you start hearing that chuffing, that output. So as you start shrinking the port down, go, okay, hey, I finally got a port that'll fit in this box. It's so small that the tuning's right, but it doesn't sound good and you got tons of port noise coming along for the ride. So then what do you do? Well, that's where the passive radiator comes into play. And passive radiators can be played with, the mass of them can be tuned to tune it to the frequency you want, and you don't have any port noise with a passive radiator. So PRs, passive radiators, are actually really, really cool devices, and you're seeing them make a resurgence from kicker at least because it allows us to get great low base performance in a very, very small, and I'm saying, when I say small, I'll get you a side view of it here. Timmy will get me a, a side profile here. You're looking at an extremely thin and small enclosure to go behind the seat of your truck. This is the Comp RT 10, and as you can see while Timmy's got their close up on it, the top of the enclosure, you're looking, it is just a shade under three and a half inches deep, and the bottom of the enclosure at the wide part, you're looking just a shade over six inches. It's extremely compact. It's only 23 inches-ish wide. It might be a little bit more than that. 23, maybe a quarter, two and a half. Hard to measure on the rounded corners to get an exact number. It's right around 23 and a half. But inside of that, you've got a 10-inch Comp RT woofer and a 10 inch tuned passive radiator on here. And with those two in conjunction, you get great sounding deep low bass. This obviously is designed to go behind the seat of your truck, but you can use it in any other environment you want to. You can put these in a sedan, you can put them in a hatchback, you can use these where you want, but more specifically, this is kind of designed to go behind the seat.